Edonial Technology Center participates in the development of Kevmarging project, whose objective is to enhance the application of the so-called key-enabled technologies (KETs) in the marine field. The project emerged from the initiative of several research centers and organizations throughout the European Atlantic area and receives funding from the European Regional Development Fund through the Interreg Atlantic Area Program. In this content, we will try to convey what are the most important applications of KETs for the sectors that operate in the marine fields. KETs are technologies that have been identified as key enabled technologies by the European Commission. Photonics, advanced materials, advanced manufacturing, biotechnology, nanotechnology and micro nanotechnology. Rigorously speaking, they are not unique or independent technologies, and in some way we can think of them as thematic containers for the latest developments and technological advances in the main fields of technical knowledge. We will try to go deeper on each one of them to show their potential applications. We will speak first about nanotechnology, which in a very simple way consists in being able to interact with matter at atomic and molecular levels, in which the interactions and possible effects on the matter can be substantially different from those observable at macroscopic levels. A clear example of a phenomenon that occurs in the marine environment at this scale is corrosion. Although coatings have been in place for a long time to prevent or mitigate corrosion, this process takes place at the molecular level, so that only one gap, a minimum gap, is required for water to be able to oxidize iron. It is because of the above that this is one of the applications where precisely nanotechnology has given rise to visible advances in recent years, and today nanoparticulated coatings are available on the market, capable of achieving a considerably higher level of coverage compared to coatings that do not contain nanoparticles. The reason why they are more effective is simple. If we think of a coating as a packaging of particles that form a protective film, the smaller the particle size of the coating, the smaller the interstices that the packaging leaves open for the passage of external substances. This property is useful not only against corrosion, but in other applications such as biofall impervation, or in general, surface in contact with harsh environments protection. Another very clear field of application of nanotechnology is the development of new materials, especially visible in the field of composite materials, where the inclusion of nano-reinforced fibers leads to significant lightening of the parts, while maintaining or improving their mechanical properties. Although the use of composite materials in the structural field has its limitations, its impact on weight reduction can be vital for the development of future vessels, as a way for a rationalization of fuel and energy consumption. While the previous applications may be the most obvious, or at least the most tangible ones, there are other applications worthy of review. Thus, the oil and gas sector can benefit from nano-additivated concretes and steels, capable of improving the behavior of structures against stress or corrosion. Drain activities and water treatment are also objective applications, thanks to the ability to develop substances capable of penetrating smaller pores, as well as interacting with contaminants with a higher filtering ratio. Finally, food safety and energy storage systems also find tangible advantages in nanotechnology. In the first case, these advantages will be derived from the ability of the nanoscale to achieve a better interaction with substances and organisms. In the second case, the possibility of improving the performance and achieving a lower impact of the fuels based on nanoaddition is a possibility, as well as the development of higher performance batteries. Biotechnology is a broad concept, in which we can find different terms, as red, green or white biotechnology, and even blue biotechnology is a term that is commonly used to refer to the processes that lead to the extraction of resources from marine biomass. There are a good number of reasons why this field of biotechnology is of special interest nowadays. 
and that is that in a basic way, the seas and oceans pose a series of advantages over other alternatives on land, being perhaps one of the most important ones that space is a much smaller limitation in the seas and in the oceans than in the land, where it is scarcer and there is also competition between different crops. In addition, cultivation at sea has other advantages, as in general, a higher yield per area and the obvious possibility of using seawater. When trying to enumerate the main marine biological resources, we can fundamentally identify three enzymes, biopolymers, and biofuels. With regard to enzymes, basically, they are biocatalysts that reduce the activation energy required for a chemical reaction to take place following a specific route. In this way, the enzymes extractable from the marine environment have inherent advantages compared with the ones coming from other sources, such as a greater tolerance for high salt concentrations, the ability to exist at high pressures, and temperature adaptability. This makes these enzymes to present considerable versatility for more extreme processes, so that many applications can make use of them. On this slide, we show some of them. Biopolymers produced from algae are the second main resource extractable from the seas and oceans. Nowadays, it is possible to produce biodegradable plastics such as PHA or PLA, used for example in molding products and packaging applications, presenting a higher productivity rate than the system based on land resources. The production of biofuels from algae and microalgae is a third remarkable resource, especially important in a context in which the world is progressively moving towards higher levels of energy efficiency and environmental impact reduction. Thus, biofuels can become relevant from the point of view that in general, its leaf organic matter origin presents a much more favorable carbon balance than that of fossil fuels. We now approach a new kit, advanced manufacturing. Of those we have seen so far, it is perhaps the most difficult to cover, since it is really a concept that at every moment includes technologies or technological trends with the greatest potential for the future development of manufacturing and production processes. That is why in this part of this content, we will try to convey what are the main technologies, as well as their applications in the marine field. In the first place, we could name the concept of digital manufacturing, again an umbrella concept, under which all the technologies and concepts related to the digitalization of the design and manufacturing activity are housed. Thus, today we talk about 3D design, scanning, simulation, and other technologies, perhaps 3D printing being one of the most prevalent concepts in this whole set of technologies. Although 3D printing is very popular nowadays due to the proliferation of all types of printing devices, even at the domestic level, it is the industrial field that occupies our interest. At this level, the various printing technologies are capable of manufacturing intricate geometries in very diverse materials, although there are currently certain practical limitations of application in the marine field, especially in the field of metals. In this group of materials, perhaps the most important limitation is size, because although it is possible to design a manufacturer thanks to these technologies, highly specific and complex parts, the processes that give rise to them present a series of obvious limitations where the parts are large, in terms of capacity, time, and cost. That is why it is not foreseeable that this technology will substitute or be an alternative for the manufacture of large parts or large structural elements, although it will be the most obvious alternative when single or short series small parts must be manufactured, as well as the repair of large metal parts in localized areas. In the field of plastics and composites, the perspectives are, however, different, and it is because of the characteristics of some of the printing technologies involved, a good amount of them based on material extrusion. These cases present a considerable scalability, and in fact, 
machines capable of manufacturing parts of considerable sizes are already emerging. We can highlight a second concept of great prevalence related to advanced manufacturing, which is automation, which although is not a new concept, has taken advantage of developments that currently give this term a new dimension. Robots are seen in a traditional way as very precise machines and with a high reproducibility, and therefore suitable especially for repetitive works, mainly due to the need to develop a specific programming for each robot action. However, the complementary progress in other fields of technology, especially in fields such as artificial vision, makes it possible to introduce considerable greater flexibility, making robots more interesting for operations with a lower level of repetability. To give an example of this, we can imagine the case of a robot used for welding large flat metal parts. In a traditional robot, the welding of the parts is only possible through the previous positioning of the parts in the welding position, the subsequent placement of the robot welding head at all points that operator estimates that determine the path of the welding cord, and its subsequent integration into the robot programming. Obviously, this work is tremendously time-consuming, and it is only really applicable when the work must be repeated a considerable number of times. If on the contrary that robot had a vision system capable of scanning the 3D parts, compare the dimensions with their nominal values, and referencing them in a single coordinate system, it would be possible to develop an algorithm capable of simplifying all the necessary operations for robot programming, and therefore its application range would be considerably expanded. This previous case, which is inspired by a real project performed by Idoniel, is an example of how current robotics is moving away from its classic concept of repetitiveness, and is the reason why today it can be profitable to automate many manufacturing tasks in areas as shipbuilding, where additional concepts such as collaborative robotics are emerging as well. To finish the part of this content related to advanced manufacturing kit, it is also worth talking briefly about immersion technologies, in our days mainly under the concepts of virtual and augmented reality. Far from being mere recreations or virtual overlays of design and manufacturing elements, the possibilities in fields such as design and maintenance are considerable. In this last field, the ability of a system to make visible parameters such as the lifespan of an element or the data associated with the current flows in a pipe network is of absolute value for the effective management of maintenance activities and resources. In all cases, it is necessary to take into account that the entire phenomenon of digitalization also takes place at a time when we attend not only to the possibility but the absolute reality of current hardware, software and communication networks, which provide a previously unknown capacity for interconnectivity and information management. As the fourth kit, we would like to address micro and nano electronics, a very transversal concept. What we currently know as micro and nano electronics is currently an evolution of the traditional concept of electronics, to which micro and nano prefixes have been added as the manufacturing processes progressively led to the reduction of the scale at which an electronic element could be manufactured. Thus, the passing of the years has allowed us to evolve from a microscopic size transistor to systems in which it's possible to host a fully functional computer in a size not exceeding a cigarette box, with a minimum energy supply and with a fourth ventilation. The technologies that have made possible the miniaturization of electronic components have also served to miniaturize small mechanisms, so we can talk additionally about the concept of mechatronics, as well as micro and nano electromechanical devices, MEMS and NEMS. This has allowed such common devices as gyroscopes and accelerometers to be integrated in chips, integrating as well, in more specific cases, elements or sensors capable of measuring other types of physical variables, 
which can be used in a big range of applications. The development of MEMS and NEMS is behind the evolution of various technologies of great application in the marine field. One of the most obvious is inertial navigation, that is, systems capable of managing the position of an element in the absence of external reference systems, such as GPS. These systems are possible thanks to the use of chips equipped with accelerometers, gyroscopes and other sensors, being able to measure and control various parameters associated with the position and movement of an object, such as direction, linear speed or angular speed. Nowadays, it is evident that all developments related to autonomous and guided driving and navigation are growing in importance, with these inertial systems playing a fundamental role. In this way, chips capable of incorporating all the necessary elements to measure and manage the parameters associated with the movement are essential to develop a good part of the future navigation and exploration concepts. Another of the applications of the combination between electronics and mechanics at micro and nano levels are its use in the field of weather and climate monitoring and forecast. Modern electronics allow a large number of sensors to be integrated in very small electronic systems and with a reduced energy consumption, capable of performing a complete monitoring of weather at the sea. Thus, buoys at ACA sensors platforms are beginning to proliferate which will be of very high relevance for local and real-time control of the weather and the aquatic environment, highly relevant for the proliferation of offshore renewable energies. As the last group of remarkable applications of micro and nanoelectronics, we can talk about the lab on a chip concept. In conjunction with electronic developments, progressing fields such as microfluidics allows the in-situ analysis of samples without the need to use traditional laboratory equipment for the measurement of many variables. This is an interesting development for all those applications that require monitoring of substances and pollutants in the marine environment, such as aquaculture. Photonics is the last of the kits that we will address in this content. As an initial comment, and for trying to narrow the margins of this technology, Photonics consists on the generation, detection and control of light, photons, in a spectrums that, in general, usually range from infrared to ultraviolet, of course going through the visible spectrum. Due to its electromagnetic nature, light is a complex entity that presents complex behavior and variable characteristics depending on its frequency and wavelength. That is why photonics is a broad and complex field of knowledge, being its main point that the human being can take advantage of light for uses far beyond the obvious, using light selectively, developing sensors and light routing and light management elements. It is really not easy to summarize all applications that photonics can have in the marine environment. But in this slide, we have tried to bring together the main ones in a series of blocks. In the field of fisheries and aquaculture, light can be used for sensory applications such as contaminant detection, scanning surfaces and objects, proximity detection, etc., to marine organisms' growth stimulation. In the field of fish and seafood processing, light is the basis of recognition, measurement, classification and processing systems, capable of discriminating or automatically classifying raw materials and products. In areas such as prospecting or energy and environment, the ability to recognize, measure or perform monitoring activities based on technologies that use light is of great importance in order to achieve maximum operational efficiency. Other areas such as sea building benefit from metrology systems supported by the use of light, as well as the development of advanced cutting and welding systems. In the field on security, navigation and logistics, the use of light is behind numerous technologies that allow the proper referencing and location of elements, marine vehicles and persons. 
Apart from applications discussed in the previous slide, there is an important field of work in the development of devices for the monitoring of the structural health of constructions at sea. Thanks to electronic systems that make use of light, this is, optoelectronic systems. This is the case of the device shown on this slide, the result of a European project. In this case, a printable sensor on a flexible substrate was developed, capable of detecting variations in the stresses to which the structure is subjected, thanks to a circuit made of light fiber. With this we reach the end of this content. We hope that it has been illustrative and indicative of how CATS can be the way for the technological development of the sectors operating in the marine environment. Finally, we sincerely thank you for the time you have spent viewing this content. We encourage you to expand information through the means presented on this slide. Greetings from David Santos González, Idoneal Technology Center. Goodbye.